Hey there guys, Fizzle Mister here, um, or Donovan with Fizzle Mister. Still trying to get my computer to let me upload, uh, uh, sec. Still trying to get my computer to let me upload videos. Um, so I'm doing this with my phone again, sorry if it, uh, it's a little shaky. This is why I love thrift stores, uh, yard sales. And uh, stuff like flea markets, swap meets, stuff like that. It's all just really cool. Uh, you find all sorts of cool stuff for so, so cheap. I got all of this for like nothing. $35 for all of it. Or not even $35. I think it was just 30 bucks for all of this. Really nice axe. That, that alone on eBay is like 30 something. Or 25 or 20 something. I don't know. Expensive, uh, this, um, I'm going to restore all of these things, or the axe, the hand drill, chisel just needs edge work, I got this for a buck, good wood chisel, um, American made, American made, don't know about this one, doesn't have a maker's mark, this one I can't read the maker's mark yet, so, uh, I don't know if you guys can... There we go. So if anybody knows who makes that, it looks kind of like a W. Um, please feel free to let me know, but this is a great tool. It just needs a little work on the edge. Um, let's focus again. Um, it, this handle is in great shape. It just needs to be uh, filed and put some linseed oil on there. I'm just going to sand this down a little bit get some of that uh, rust off and then I got some auger bits this whole setup right here cost me seven bucks five bucks for the auger bits uh, three bucks or no two bucks for this I almost made an offer for both of them he had the guy had two of them had a ton of old tools I just didn't have the hand room I was carrying this um, which is all this and this already and I have trying to uh, and we were carrying a bunch of fresh fruit because we have a uh, flea market up here every Saturday and Sunday during the summer and it's just it's gonna start um, not happening anymore pretty here pretty soon for the winter and then I'm gonna have to wait again for the summer because we don't really have good thrift stores they're either really expensive or just the other one is just kind of a pile of junk they, they just kind of shoved everything into a pile and we're like awesome we're gonna sell this and it's just really hard to find anything in there. I actually did find a hair dryer for five dollars for a forge that I'm building. It's a really good price. So this chisel, uh, I it is Fuller's eighty four. It's a nice chisel, wood chisel. It's just like a uh, cheap little thing that I needed. And then this right here is a current rest. Uh, this is what I'm going to be doing right now. I've got the handle out of it. I'm keeping this piece of hickory because it's in fairly good shape and I'm going to use it as a wood mallet sort of deal. Um, already because the guy tried to use it as a, uh, use it as is still. It's like a hatchet because the handle broke right there and he uh, sanded it and everything so it was smooth. But this actually helped me get the handle out of this. And my biggest find on this was this it's an aluminum wedge and used instead of a metal one I think it's aluminum it was soft softer than steel I don't think it's lead it might be I don't think it is though I think it's just aluminum it might be lead but it was used instead of a uh, a wooden one with a metal wedge going across the wood one like that so I was wondering why they do that and uh, if anybody knows please let me know I'm curious of who does this and why they do it um, it would help me narrow down so I'm gonna keep that I might even just reuse it too but uh, you know good axe it's three and a half pound head and that's all the marking that is on there guy used it for tar work really rough shape on the edge but that's an easy fix I've done it multiple times 
Oh, let's see. Focus. There we go. And then the next thing is these. This is an Imperial Prov RIA knife. Got it for 10 bucks. It's a nice little knife. It's It feels cheap. It's The handles were put on with rivets. It's just like tin or something with a plasticky sticker over it. But it's in great shape. The sheath is milk. Uh, missing the buckle that goes over the handle. It's a little plastic sheath. Got it for ten bucks. I'm just gonna use it as a shop knife. I think it's well worth it. All of this was uh, like thirty bucks. These auger bits are amazing. I used this to get the wood out of there. Helped a ton. Um, so you know, I got a tool, wood mallet now that I'm going to use to put handles back on just because I've been using pine and it breaks so easy and this is a fairly nice piece of hickory or might even be oak but uh, this I'm going to sand down linseed the hammer end of it is in good shape it's an amazing hatchet it's just in pristine condition all of this stuff found at a flea market by multiple sellers, you can make deals. Uh, the guy wanted five for this. I talked him down to two. And, uh, yeah, and then I was walking out, and the, another guy was like, hey, I got bits for that, uh, five dollars. And I was like, you know, whatever, okay. So I got all this. Uh, that's just my finds for today. Really happy with it. Um, if I bought it online, it would be more expensive. Hobbies be can be really cheap. Expenses, no excuse. I hear people say that all the time. Oh, I just, it's too expensive. You can get a lot of good tools. You don't have to have a power drill. You can get a hand drill at a thrift store. I got, you know, they're expensive to buy online. <laughs> Probably still cheaper than an electric drill. It might not do you as good, but it's, uh, it's awesome. All right. Thanks for oh, and just another quick thing. Uh, I got a new, well, it's a table. Um, got a new workbench. Files. There's my, uh, holes for my pins, aka screw, that I screw in when I have axes here. I have it in three different positions, right there, right there, and right there. So I can, uh, clamp the axe down and file it easier. Um, well, this should really be on my start. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, all that stuff, really cheap. Um, just saying online isn't always better, because I mean, look at this. This thing is in great shape, otherwise, it's, it's just... <laughs> this would have cost me at least 17 bucks on eBay. Got it for four, eight. The guy said eight for both of these. And I could have got a splitting mall. Two, but I didn't even think about grabbing it. Um, I was more worried about chisels, needing some good chisels. Yeah, see that, that was used to hammer on some, uh, metal. So, you can get tools fairly cheap. Uh, you might have to do some restoration, uh, some few quick fixes, but it's not going to be that difficult. Like this one, it's just some sanding and some oil on the handle. And it'll be in just amazing shape again. Maybe even some sanding on the uh, bit itself. But I think this might be my new favorite tool right here. Uh, but yeah, good luck and uh, farewell for now. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on this project. I got another one currently that I'm doing. I kind of messed up on the handle. I didn't shave it down good enough and uh, it's a really thick handle. This is why I do not like hardware store handles. See how thick that thing is? It's just like a baseball bat. I, I'm pretty sure I could just cut this bit off and use this as a club. So that's 13 bucks wasted right there. Uh, I wouldn't say wasted. I guess I have it, a good look of what it's going to be like. But um, that is going to be in vinegar. If I can get it off this handle or I'm just going to... Uh, bead blast it and uh, throw some vinegar rags on there let it soak in and uh, self patina 
but you can see where I've started some uh, minor rust removal, but I'll keep you guys updated on my latest projects. This is a Pulaski, and I have no clue what that one is, but it's a good axe. There's just a few of my axes. I'm making a shelf for them to hang on. Um, Alright, thanks. Adios.